Hey guys, this is going to be a quick video. I'm going to talk about what the inner rim results for for Choose Your Legend 5 versus what they finally ended up as. I'm going to speculate on what happened and who actually received support in the final, really final three and a half days between the inner rim results and the final results. So you see here I have the boys on the left and the ladies on the right here. On the left, you can see Marth, he was reigning on top followed by Gatekeeper. But you see at the end, Gatekeeper won like by 26,000 votes. So that's actually very, very huge. So I think what happened was uh, many people didn't know what the, about Choose Your Legends or maybe, you know, they really kind of buried it in the notifications area. And then once they found out, they started to vote. And even better, there's been a lot of words between the content creator especially the video I made um, and other people have made that made people aware Gatekeeper was available to vote. So you see there, there's like a giant surge and then Gatekeeper ended up winning with really 26,000 votes, which is huge. Marsh still made it, and but 46,000 compared to 72,000, that's a big gap. So people must have just voted for Gatekeeper in the last um, few days, so I'm glad you guys did. I think Intelligent Systems they have a they have a challenge ahead of them to make Gatekeeper a very good unit. Um, hopefully not just a generic Lance unit. Hopefully kind of an OP unit since he's guarding the entire Garrick Mock there. But then you have Krom and Byleth. So Krom definitely, if we don't have a new Fire Emblem game, he'll probably make it next year. I think Marth got one over Krom because Shadow of Dragon and the Blade of Light release. But Krom might get a chance next year. Again, he's very, very popular in Japan. 4 and 5, Byleth and Felix, that hasn't changed, but you're gonna see here Yuri actually overtakes Robin. And that's because Yuri's an excellent character. If you don't or haven't played the DLC, um, you should get it. I think Yuri is worth the character, um, especially in the specific DLC. And he's kind of worth the character all around. His support with the other cast of Three Houses, definitely a plus there. Now, you see they did kind of shuffle here with 8 through 10, where Seleph dropped all the way to 10. Of course, the Dew and Ash, they're the Three Houses um, boys, so they're definitely going to get up there. It's the recency bias there. Um, I kind of feel bad, because Selif is kind of like Marth 2.0. Every year he gets shafted and it looks like at the end of the day he ended up 10th. Eh. Alright, let's talk about the females, because this one really, really surprised me. So again, Erica, like Marth, she was leading at the interim results. And then, um, we talked about on the interim video how Marianne or Bernadetta might make a last minute surge. But I never thought it would be Marianne winning first place. I thought they would have moved past Byleth, female Byleth, but I never knew they would surge to first place. So Marianne with the 33,555 votes there. First place, wow, congratulations you guys. I think she's a great character. I think in uh, my other video, some of the comments um, on her skills as a mage in Three Houses, She's definitely one of my most useful mages since she has her legendary weapon, but also um, the thing that makes her really strong is silence. She's one of the few mages in the game that actually learns silence. So keep an eye out for Marianne there. And when I say mage, we're talking the priest class or the white mage class equivalent of Fire Emblem Three Houses. Okay, so they did a shift here. Marianne just overtakes um, Byleth and Erica to be number one and then Erica and Violet, they fall into place very, very close. About 6,000 votes. So 6,000 votes, 6,000 more of you guys voted a certain way. That could have been changed. Just know that the girls bracket is very, very close. All right. Then we have Bernadetta. Um, I think she'll get in eventually. Um, she, The reason she may have not gotten as enough votes is because she got that Christmas unit where she's in the house. And I think that was perfect implementation of her Christmas unit. So, um, definitely we already have two units for her. We don't have Marianne yet in the game. So, I think that's why Marianne surged there. Corn 5, Hilda 6, Robin 7, that hasn't changed. 
This is what I'm talking about, you guys. You, you guys are very thirsty for the Henrietta, Alphonse, and Sharina's mom. She ended up number eight, and guess what? You guys kind of had your wish granted with the Day of Devotion Henrietta there. And then for the girls, you guys got Gustav, the dad. Alright, so you see Henriette definitely overtook them. What's surprising is Dorothea dropped. Um, I thought she was a popular character, but probably because we have a few of her in the game already. That's why she may have been left off. And I know with the recent, kind of right before the Choose Your Legends, we had the Desert Banner. And she was on the Desert Banner as a dual hero with Lene. So maybe that's why she dropped off. But at the end of the day, Dorothea fell past Tharja and Azura and Tharja got pushed out by Henrietta. So hopefully we get to have a new Fire Emblem announcement or kind of a refresh, a remake of some sort that will push some of these characters to the top. Um, I feel really bad about Shadow of Valencia characters. I know we already got Om and Celica. But besides them, kind of the side characters got pushed down. Um, a lot of people skip that game. It does play more like a traditional Fire Emblem game. It has its own unique mechanic of spell casting um, and costing your health, but you definitely should check it out. So we'll see where this falls next year. I can already see some of the three houses hype dying down from recency bias because you see here Krom, um, Robin are above and Selif here. And in final results, yeah, it does reflect three houses, but Krom is still kind of reigning in third place there. Um, Robin's here too. So Krom and Robin, they're from the same game from Awakening. So the longer the time passes, the more you may like or dislike a character. And then over here on this side, um, of course, the equivalent of Robin in Fates, this is the kind of the canon one, is the female Corrin. So we'll see if Corrin um, you have Robin here too, and Azura, if they get up there in the CYL 6, if not, they'll release a new game, and then you'll all be interested in that, and you'll get the votes. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out and discussing kind of the final results versus interim results with me, and looking forward to what kind of units IS comes up with. Talk to you soon. Bye!